everybody, I'm Robert Arrington and this is Fresh Fish for Dinner. Uh, a couple days ago, Sarah caught that big smooth puffer fish. We filmed the whole video on how to clean it, how to fillet it. Well, now we're gonna eat it. We're gonna do a really easy dish here. It's almond crusted smooth puffer. It's the only one I've ever seen in my life, so you can use this exact same recipe on any white fish. I mean, halibut, grouper, snook, snapper, hogfish, tilefish, you name it, you get the point. If it's a white flaky fish, this is a super easy recipe that people often get like, whoa, I don't want to crust something. Too easy. First, you want to get your fish right. This is a part of the muscle that he uses to run his little swimmer fin with, his dorsal fin. So we want to get all that off. It's totally edible. I just like to get it off because when you start cooking, if that's what the crust is attached to, it'll come apart. So whenever I peeled that skin off, it left a little bit of this silver skin. Now it's fine, it's not gonna be that tough, but for me, I'd rather take it off. Now, when you cut, I want my portions to be about this big, and I'll just run the knife down and cut it off just like it's skin. See that? Again, totally edible, and you don't have to do this with most fish, but because I pulled the skin off, it left that membrane. That's basically like a silver skin, and it would cause it to be a little tougher. Now, once I have this piece of meat, it's about that big, I'll just cut it into nice portions, like that. Easy. Do the same thing here again. Got it there. Nice nuggets. So now we've got all of our fish portioned out. Super easy. A little kosher salt, not too much. Okay. Tony Satry's. Creole seasoning. I love this stuff. Oh, went a little heavy on the little bit. All right. Good. You're not trying to overpower your fish. You just, a little fresh cracked pepper. You're not trying to overpower it. Just try to give it a little seasoning, sort of like toss around so the seasoning gets mixed around. All right. Now, now I've got flour. Just take a Ziploc bag, piece of cake. Throw all your fish in the flour. That's just multi-purpose flour. If you have a gluten issue, you can get gluten-free flour and it does the same thing. Okay. Let that sit there. I don't need my spices anymore. So now I've got a couple eggs. I'll just crack them in this bowl. All right. Set that just like that. Take this flour, the fish that's in the flour, pull it out. It's amazing that all this fish came off of one puffer. Can you believe that? That's just one fillet. Yeah, this is just one fillet from a puffer. Skinless, boneless, good for the soul. Okay, now got my almonds. You can substitute almonds for anything. Walnuts, pecans, coconut, anything. This is how you crust fish. Season it, flour it, roll it in egg. Do not mix milk with your egg. Just like that, okay? Piece of cake, let it drain. Let it fall in love with some of your almonds. And let it come out. Holy Toledo. You don't need egg on both sides. Doesn't hurt if you do, but you don't have to. Okay. Mm. 
Now, the reason that you do not crust both sides is because these almonds have sugar in them. By nature, almonds have sugar and they're gonna brown extremely fast. So, you're able to leave the side that has not been crusted on the heat for longer and allow it to cook your fish all the way through. Bring this over here and you're gonna lay this fish just like that. Nice. Nice and hot. Nice and hot. What are you laying it in? Using just a little vegetable oil. Sometimes I use canola oil, sometimes I use vegetable oil. Believe it or not, folks, that oil is hot. If you stick your fingers in it, it will burn. All right. We do appreciate you being fans of ours. Thank you for liking the pages, keeping in touch. This is what we do, it's who we are. You know, this isn't a job to us, this is the life we live. We're so stoked to have you as friends and fans. If you were here, you'd be able to smell these almonds right now. They have amazing aroma once you start to cook the fish. The almonds are just delightful. Now the side with your almonds is gonna brown faster. There's sugar in those almonds. When it hits the hot pan, it's gonna brown fast. So don't sleep on it, it'll burn. Then you'll be wondering, you know, how to fix it. Now, just let them, oh, look how nice and golden brown they are. So beautiful. All right, that's all it takes, just a few minutes. I mean, like, a couple minutes each side, you're done. Fresh, delicious fish for dinner. All right, let that sit right there. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna make a cilantro pineapple sauce. It's got this same pan, it's got just a little bit, maybe about two tablespoons of that hot oil that you just cooked your fish in. Still got some of the flavor and almonds going on. Leave it on about a medium high heat. You can, this is how I make all my sauces. Okay, a little bit of flour, just about that much. All right, that was probably about a good tablespoonful. But as you know, if you watch my videos, I don't measure anything. I, I just go with it, all right? Once you do that, I do like to have a little bit of salt. Someone needs a new muffler. A little bit of salt. Okay. A little bit of pepper. All right. We want a little bit of butter in there. It's just about that much. However much that is, that's how much I suggest. That butter's gonna give it a nice creamy Mmm, flavor. All right. Put that in there. Let that start loving around. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now you can use fresh cilantro if you'd like. This is pineapple juice. That's about two cups of pineapple juice and about a teaspoon of minced cilantro. Now, this is gonna just start coming together here. That butter's gonna give it that creamy flavor. As we put the pineapple juice in there and the cilantro, it's gonna start to thicken. As it gets hot, this is gonna start to thicken. Then you're gonna have that sweet pineapple flavor. You're gonna have that aromatic cilantro taste combined with the almond crusted smooth puffer fish. I'm telling you right now, folks, it's gonna be good. What are you doing with your hand? I just hold my hand here in case something falls out of the ceiling or whatever. I'm just holding my hand here. 
So that's my way of saying thank you, God, for this great fish. You can already see the consistency, the viscosity of this sauce coming together. Keep it on the heat. It's at about a medium high heat. We're so close we can taste it. Marlon is dead asleep here. I and mean, what dog falls asleep in the kitchen while you're cooking? Now look at that. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. All the flavor, cilantro, pineapple juice, a little salt, pepper, butter. Mm. Now, come over here. This is wonderful. Okay, so now we'll take, it's already drained off. Take this. I want mine with the sauce. Sarah is not a big fan of any kind of sauce. And we'll just drizzle this right on here just like that. I like mine off to the side. And that is almond crusted smooth puffer with a pineapple cilantro glaze. Fresh fish for dinner. I'm Robert Arrington. Thank you so much for watching. Now, to see if it's any good. Mmm. I know I've got some on my mouth, but it doesn't even matter. Look how white and flaky that is. Done perfectly. That is incredible. Thank you all so much for watching. Robert Arrington, Fresh Fish for Dinner. Subscribe to the channel, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see you next time. Somebody stop me. Next time I get the taste test first, because that's not even fair. Okay, well here, you get to taste it. No, I don't want to. No, taste it. Um, it's different. all you, taste it. No, you gotta taste it now. Everyone's watching. He makes fun of me because I don't like sauces. I just like to dunk it, you know, control my sauce. That's good. And it's even better since I caught it. It's a double, that's a win-win situation. I think my cheeks are getting ready because it's so hot. <laughs> okay. I have brought my mouth. Fresh fish for dinner, huh? Fresh fish for dinner. Like us on Facebook. It's good stuff.